imagination in designing this presentation. Um, I, of course, want to thank Dr. Nakon Negehe, who always thinks highly of uh, my thesis and takes it up to the next level. And thinks of it as a model, so she makes me aim high in her left of the work. Thank you, uh, Dr. Taiki and Dr. Ted, uh, for your support and feedback. And I'd like to thank all the other professors who are very well to do our action research. Um, I would like to uh, thank the true heroes of this research, which are the teachers community, the teachers, um, the school administration, and owners, all of you who allowed me to, to do something that I really I'd like to thank my family, friends, and colleagues uh, from work for their support and for uh, the ERAS program who helped me in the finding my proposal. All right, teachers as agents of change, a case study of action research for school improvement. Dr. Ted's course, Transformational Leadership, last summer. And, and during this course, uh, each person reflected on the organization that they were. And uh, we put the strategy or a plan for improvement. So I put a school improvement plan for my, uh, for my school. And my school is really my school because I graduated from it. And um, at the end of this plan, I thought, so this is me thinking about my school. I only want to teach for three years. I'm only teaching one subject in two grades. I have no idea what the science people are thinking or what the math people are thinking. I have no idea about the opinions of people who have been here for 20 years or more. And I don't know about people who have been teaching, maybe not in the school, but in other places. So I felt like I wanted to incorporate all the people, uh, perspectives, teachers specifically, uh, in creating the school group of time. But I was not in a position to make changes or go and ask people what do you think. Um, then I attended the ERAS uh, blended course and training program, Dr. Nagwa Mugenit and Dr. Mella, and it was an amazing experience. There I learned about action research and school improvement, and I was still thinking about which topic to, to present in my thesis, and uh, there the baby was kind of developed, and um, I learned a lot from my peers, and I shared ideas about school improvement, and they truly helped me refine the proposal. And, um, and so I moved forward with the idea, especially after I met with the school administration and discussed with them the idea of involving teachers in school improvement planning. And uh, surprisingly, they really did um, uh, agree to the idea. And this reflected on my enthusiasm to work because I felt, okay, so maybe my thesis will be beneficial to someone. And this motivated me. So the research purpose is to incorporate teacher's feedback in creating a school improvement plan that fits the culture and context of the school. Uh, the research questions um, are for what are the steps taken to mobilize teachers to participate and what is the proposed school improvement plan, um, how do teachers perceive themselves as agents of change and the impact of this experience, and what were the common trends between this Egyptian case and the literature. So the literature review focuses on three uh, main um, things, teachers as agents of change, action research, and school improvement. So mobilizing agents of change. Um, in the beginning of February, it was the beginning of term three, uh, we had a big meeting with all teachers and students were not present, it was a professional development day. And surprisingly, really, the administration and the owners were very supportive and wanted to celebrate the launch of a new teachers' committee. And uh, this teachers' committee um, was, will, was composed of 10 teachers, and it's still composed because it's ongoing, and uh, meeting with its person. And during this presentation, I talked to them about this research and the initiative, and I shared it with people here who are here from the teachers' committee and from school. And, um, and there I invited people to participate, whether they want to be members of the committee or they want to be, uh, they want to just share opinions. And we distributed applications to join the committee and the application in and of themselves were serving because we asked them what they think of the, uh, the school, ways to improve it, their vision and their mission and what they like about it. And um, surprisingly, 25% of teachers applied and did not expect that. And uh, we had this one. 
the next day, right away, things moved fast. We had elections. And initially, I thought I don't want elections. I want to interview the teachers and find out who really you know, has ideas and, and wants to do something. But the administration thought they don't want to interfere with the decision, and they wanted the teachers to represent the departments. And so uh, what we did is a mix of both. We um, typed the surveys, and so we, we tried to make them anonymous, and we gave them ID numbers. And in the elections, we asked each uh, person in the department to rate the survey, like an agenda, it would act as an agenda for the candidates. And so that was half the points. And then the other half was the normal elections. Then we said, okay, the name of the candidate is so-and-so, order them in terms of preference. And then we'd have something with a little bit of objectivity, yet also personal choice. Um, later, we had preparations for, for the meeting. Um, the librarian and I worked a lot. And uh, the meeting was to be held in the library. And I wanted to prove the to the teachers that there is change that's going to happen. And we will start with the place that we're, where we are. So, so we tried to upgrade the library, you know, the curtains and comfortable chairs and purchase new books and plants. Because I wanted to teachers when they come that they would see change already and that they would uh, believe it. Because there was a lot of doubt. And there still is, I don't say that. Um, okay, so the, the elected group is now composed of people uh, who've been here for 20 years and who've been here for a few years, and of course, various departments are represented. Also, the departments increased by time, so we thought about eight departments, and then we thought about people who are responsible for discipline, we want to include their points of view, physical education is just as important in kindergarten, so more and more the number increased. Oh, sorry. So, what did we do? Now we have the teachers today, what was the, what did we, why did we meet? So, those meetings were designed uh, to follow the school improvement at, uh, plan, cycle um, by events ed and by other um, school improvement plans. Mainly events ed was their accreditation board that we followed. So first there was an introductory meeting and there was a mini preparation task for the teachers to ask their departments what are the resources that they need and what are the issues that they want us to discuss since we're representing them. And this is really a theme of action research that I'm not coming with the question, we will discuss this, but I ask the people, I come closer to them, and I understand what do they want to discuss, and they really need it. I only facilitate. So we came up with themes, and this took a lot of time. It took two meetings, and even two sub-meetings with a smaller amount of uh, teachers to discuss, just to head in all the topics that we want to discuss. Uh, we then uh, focused on one topic, and we discussed it a bit, and we tried to define the parameters of the problem, and the first solutions. Um, and we also had surveys um, for, to get the perspective of all the teachers. And then we evaluated um, the initiatives thus far and the implementation of the Alright, so to arrive at the findings, um, data analysis uh, was made, and the data analysis used the surveys um, that were distributed in the first place and the teachers committee meeting minutes, observations, interviews, interviews and also document analysis of previous school improvement plans, teacher profiles, and required action by the accreditation board. And it's amazing that four from the five required action the accreditation board were mentioned consistently in the surveys and in the meeting minutes. So it's as if the teachers are aligned with the accreditation board of their view of what they want for the school. So the findings. Um, there are seven uh, major themes that come up consistently with the triangulation me method. It means that the major theme comes in at least three sources. Um, so two major areas of strength are found. The first major area of strength that is, I mean, that appears everywhere, is that teachers love the school. I mean, if you put the um, output of the survey in, a, in something that analyzes the frequency of work, you see environment, family, feel, friendly, home, and love. This is what, what people feel, what teachers feel about the school, that they feel it's like a home to them. And, and on this side, we see the validity of teacher surveys or interviews and observations. This is how we validate that. <coughs> this is a bit. Um, teachers thought it was really positive of the administration to take steps into listening to the teachers and, and, and involving them and, 
and being with them in one meeting, they really commended that. Um, in the five areas of improvement, uh, the first one is discipline. Um, this is not mentioned in the accreditation board, I didn't even ask about it, but it was mentioned in the teacher surveys, in the teachers committee meeting minutes, um, in the interviews, and amazingly, even the student council meeting minutes, that was consistently mentioned then as well. And in each area of improvement, there were some progress made and there are next steps. So, um, progress made is that we at least started the dialogue, uh, but the next steps are a lot. We, we need a, a person, we need a lot of professional development and character education for the students, and we need to really implement the system and stick with it and incorporate the feedback of teachers in, in designing it. Um, the next one is library and computing technologies and the validity is on the side. And, um, there's already been progress, lots of progress in the library, and there are plans for the computer labs and the technology, but not yet, has, it hasn't been implemented yet. Uh, trips and activities, also the validity of the data on the side, and there has been um, improvement um, with uh, a lot of activities and international days and so on and so forth. The students actually see that and they like it. Uh, but there are a lot of next nice steps and we want it to be more planned in the summer so it wouldn't be uh, too random as we go along. Um, involving all stakeholders this is also something that um, Advance Ed is asking about and, and it's one of the requirements. And um, there has been progress by the formation of the teachers committee and now we can hear teachers' opinion and the reformation of the student council. But we do hope to upgrade the website and that there will be more uh, communication meetings and that we would involve the parents maybe electronically. And this in itself is a major theme because um, the, the accreditation board is asking about it and it's in the um, minutes and it's in the interviews that they want to upgrade the, the website. Um, as for professional development, it's also one of the major themes. And there has been new tastes of professional development by allowing some of the teachers to come here and the STEAM conference and the CLT symposium and the teacher college. But we really hope to do something for all teachers in the summer and that consistently aligns with the vision of technology and the feedback of what they want to learn to be on track. Um, evaluation of the process thus far. So the first meeting, um, at first the teachers were fearful. You can see they are sitting on one table with you and then the administration, I mean, it was something. And so to protect them, I asked the administration not to come to the next meeting because it's all about teachers. And surprisingly, they did not agree and they wanted to meet with the, um, the administration because they said, I mean, they don't want someone to be, they feel that this is progress already, that they're meeting with the administration and they don't want them on one side, or they want to be together. And um, the teachers were enthusiastic and they were also doubtful of change, uh, but uh, one member noted that uh, this committee means that there is change already. So after six meetings, did anything happen? Um, yes, some teachers voted for students and not for teachers. And yes, in expressing themselves and collaborating and connecting and facing um, problems honestly and positively discussing them, and at least we're trying. But the big fat no is for implementation because we talked a lot, we discussed a lot, but there has not been action. And teachers consistently uh, asked about action plans, budget, deadlines, delegation of tasks. You know, they want to see output to this whole thing. Um, and when asked what is your role in change, because they are change agents, they should not just deliver their voice to the administration, but they should also take part. Um, so to deliver their voice is one part, to motivate others and themselves be agents of change to those who are around them, uh, positive, supportive, cooperative, uh, proactive and implement change, collaborate with others and work very hard for students and uh, develop one's own skills. As for my own personal questions, that person is very scared to lead a group of teachers. Honestly, especially that some of them might have taught me at one point in time. And, um, but um, it came through and, um, and I hope that more teachers would gain this leadership capacity and that it would be passed on, they would get more leadership opportunities. And the anticipated challenges, I was scared that teachers will not join and the administration will not support but both did not happen that teachers really joined and the administration supported. 
Uh, as for the discussions, those are only some of the things that, that are in the paper and that appeared in the literature review, like the emergent design, how this was not the way it was planned, but as you go along, you see, you see some opportunities and you change some things and it might end up better. And um, when Jared Corpus and organizational development, I was scared if you put all those teachers who are teaching KG in high school and who are, you know, been here for years and who care about change and, and all that, how will they all find one common topic to discuss? But it was amazing the, the discussion and how enthusiastic and passionate all the teachers were. Um, mobilizing teachers' participation is very important, um, as I saw, to explain to the teachers why you're asking for their opinion and explain the initiative because when there is shared understanding, there's much more participation. Um, also, planner versus searcher mentality. I did not come in saying, you know, hey, I know it all, I know all the answers to those problems. And, I mean, I said I don't even know the problems, but it's that I learned, I, I, we learn from the community. And there is a lot of knowledge in the teachers themselves, and we only want to find out from the teachers what is wrong and how to fix it. Okay, so the conclusion, to summarize all that up in a couple of action research cycles, so the action research cycle starts with you plan something, and then you act upon it, and then you observe what happened, and you reflect, and you change the plan, and this is the cycle. So the first cycle um, happened before the study. It happened in the summer that I did this plan for school improvement, and, um, and, and I, I acted by reading the plan, and I observed it was missing the perspective of teachers, and I reflected, and I said, you know, I want to include it the teacher's perspective next time. So this is the first cycle. The second cycle is that we plan to include uh, teachers' viewpoints. We acted by creating the teacher's committee, by talking with the administration, by taking some training courses. And then, now the teachers observed, it was not me alone, that a lot of planning took place, but not much, much action was taken. And the teachers reflected, realized the need to develop an action plan the delegate, delegation of classes and whatnot. Um, cycle C is a bit different because it's about the meetings themselves. So this is action research with some amendments to fit the advanced ed and the school improvement cycle. But cycle D is in the future. So the next plan is that we have an action plan um, that has been created now with discussion of all those findings. And it has been communicated with the administration that we will discuss the action plan. So next Sunday I should be with the teachers committee and the administration and we will discuss the budget, the deadlines, the delegation of tasks and for the first time in the history of the school not only will the teachers have shared in the planning of it but will also supervise the implementation of specific things. And um, on the 19th of June we will celebrate this whole um, initiative and not just the initiative, the whole school and the progress thus far, and share with the community of teachers the findings of the project because we don't only ask about their opinion, we want to share, and we want to get their feedback. So, uh, so this should happen before uh, the summer vacation. To wrap up. Okay, so at first it was a solo endeavor.
interesting to know to what extent the plan that evolved was similar or different to what you had imagined when you were here this last year. Okay, that's an interesting question. Um, I'm a computer teacher, so what I saw were the needs of the computer labs and the technology, and that's the only perspective I took. Like, some science teachers share that their book has not been updated for years, and how would I know that? So, so it was missing a lot of perspectives. I mean, I could only see this group of people that I'm sitting with. So, so mainly the library and the technology were the areas that I focused on. Uh, reading skills was something that I thought about, but was not mentioned. Um, that's what I remember. Uh, Mary, uh, do you mind that? Uh, um, <laughs> okay. Um, do you want me to have a microphone for that? Sure. <laughs> okay. So, this little poem was written half uh, before uh, the study started, and, and the little paragraph at the end is, is after it ended. So I said, uh, when I was young, in the school bus I would ride, introspective I was, just sitting by the window, and, have, and living in a dream world. In my dreams, I imagined myself like Power Rangers, though such cartoons were forbidden for me to watch. Yet I imagined I had magic powers of my own. Yes, a talking watch, a sleeping car, and a missile. How to face the world. On and on I would live in this imaginary world of mine. Now years later, and as the days pass by, there's the same bus, the same school, the same people, and the same ground. And the same dreams with some different. I dream I am the anointed one, the heroine, how to save the school, and deliver it to a dreamland where magical powers are connected with technology. So that was last November. In May, I thought I was the heroine, that the heroine turned out to be everyone in the journey who embarked on the road to school change. I was asking for a lot of tasks, but I asked for a reflection at the beginning and the end. 